Hello, Year One children. It's Mr. Yardsley here, sitting on his sunny deck at home, still on his holidays, in Telemama holidays, and wearing my villa top. I'm going to read you a story today about a family we've met before. It's a large family. And it's called All in One Piece. Can you remember when we read Five Minutes Piece the other week? What the name of the children were? There were four. They all started with an L. Do you remember? Lester, Luke, that's right, and Laura. Now, and there was also the baby too, wasn't there? So I wonder what might be happening in All in One Piece. Looks to me like Mrs. Large might be getting ready to go out. She looks quite dressed up. I think he's taking the children with her. I'm not sure either. I think uh, at least Lucy if, uh, is in the pyjamas anyway. all in one piece. Mr. Large was getting ready for work. Don't forget the office dinner dance tonight, dear. Of course I won't, said Mr. Large. I've been thinking about it all year. Mm. Look, there are the children, busy, getting in the way again. Are children allowed at the dinner dance? asked Lester. No, said Mrs. Large. It'll be too late for little ones. What about the baby? asked Luke. Granny is coming to take care of everyone, said Mrs. Large. So there's no need to worry. Granny arrived at tea time. The children were already bathed in their night clothes. Granny gave them some painting to do while she tidied up and Mr. and Mrs. Large went upstairs to get ready. I think they're quite excited. I don't think they get to go out that often. Luke sneaked into the bathroom while Mr. Large was shaving. Will I have to shave when I grow up? He asked, patting foam onto his trunk. Go away, said Mr. Large. I don't want you ruining my best trousers. The baby crept into the bedroom where Mrs. Large was putting on her makeup. Mrs. Large didn't notice until it was too late. Uh-oh. Look, said the baby. Pretty! Don't move, said Mrs. Large. Don't touch anything. Why does she think she doesn't want her to touch anything? Yeah, be a bit messy, I think, don't you? Outside on the landing, things were even worse. Laura was clopping about in her mother's best shoes and beads and Lester and Luke were seeing how many toys they could cram into her new tights. I think the children are a bit naughty, don't you? Downstairs at once, bellowed Mrs Large. Can't I have just one night in the whole year to myself? One night when I'm not covered in jam and poster paint. One night when I can put on my new dress and walk through the front door all in one piece. Mm. Feeling a bit sorry now, aren't they? The children went downstairs to Granny. Mr. Large followed soon after, very smart in his best suit. At last, Mrs. Large appeared in the doorway. How do I look? she asked. Pretty mummy, gasped the children. What a smasher, said Mr. Large. You look like a film star, dear, said Granny. Hands off, said Mrs. Large to the paint-smeared children. Mr. and Mrs. Large got ready to leave. Goodbye, everyone, they said. Be good now. The baby began to cry. Just go, said Granny, picking her up. She'll stop as soon as you've left. Have a lovely time. We've escaped, said Mrs. Mr. Large with a smile, closing the front door behind them. All in one piece, said Mrs. Large, and not a smear of paint between us. Actually, said Mr. Large gallantly, you'd look wonderful to me, even if you were covered in paint.
which was perfectly true and just as well really oh so they did they manage to escape all in one piece they certainly managed to escape didn't they and get some peace themselves like the other story i hope you're not being like the children in the large family of being at home year one remember our school motto if you see someone without a smile give them one of yours and keep smiling everyone bye bye